Hey guys, welcome back to Cam's Corner. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's tuned in to our first set of episodes with Tony Hollins. I've had a great response. It's been really nice to hear from you all, really great to hear the appreciation and the, the interest that you all have in this show. It's really important to me to give back to you all and introduce the game of court tennis to everybody around the world. Obviously, it's a work in progress. We're trying to improve, and I appreciate all the tips and advice that you guys have given me moving forward. Uh, so we're going to enter, enter into a new new set of uh, episodes. I'm going to try and keep them going every week for the rest of this year. Uh, lots of pros around the world are going to be helping out, and I'm even going to give you a bunch of tips myself. So today, I'm going to give you a tip on consistency. And I should know something about this. It's obviously my specialty around the game. Uh, so what I want to talk about is how to be more consistent with your play. And what that means is getting the ball into play more often. Too often, we focus on trying to hit the shot too well. We give ourselves a low margin of error to get that ball over the net and into the spot where we want it to be, whether it's the corner, whether it's an opening, whether it's a gallery. And what this allows is for us to miss and lose confidence. We make more errors or we put the ball up on the roof, and that really takes its toll over time. And so one of the easiest ways to get away from that is to actually focus on your clearance level over the net. If you try and have too low of a clearance level just getting that ball over the net, there's a pretty good likelihood that you may miss a little bit low and hit it into the net. And that's what we want to eliminate. So one of the easiest things you can do is just raise that clearance level. Give yourself a foot or two of clearance over the net. That way, if all of a sudden you do hit it low, you've still gotten it over the net just with that lower margin. And then instead of focusing on that height over the net, focus on your spot on the other side of the court that you want the ball to land on, right? It doesn't matter if the ball is an inch over the net or two feet over the net. If you get that ball two feet over the net and have it land on the yellow line on either side, that ball is going to, second bounce is going to die in the corner, effectively giving us good length. So that eliminates that need for that very tight angle going over the net, okay? That's a very easy tip that you all can take. It doesn't matter if it's a ball off the back wall, penthouse, or even a floor shot. Give yourself a little bit more room over the net and focus on where that first bounce of the ball is landing. Thanks, guys.